This advocacy yeah, is about the children on the street. We cannot deny the number of street children in our country. Poverty, unemployment rate, and many reasons that affect those issues are a problem nowadays. These children are supposed to be in the school and watched by their family members. They have human rights like other people who have a good status in life. The question is, how are we going to end this? Or how are we going to make an impact and change in their lives? We cannot help all the people in the street. We cannot even give them the money that they need or the shelter that they need. But there's one thing we can do. Wherein we can be a, a volunteer member of any non-government organizations who aims to help people, not only people on the street, but in other things as well. So right now, I am supporting one of the advocacy here in the Philippines, which is called the Child Hope Philippines. So what does the Child Hope Philippines do? As I have said earlier, this advocacy is about the human rights of children. So here, we can see here what are the goals that they want to implement and who they are. So this non-government organization is found, uh, was founded in 1986. Individuals from children's agencies saw the needs to address the plight of children needing protection, especially those living in the streets. And in 1989, a regional office for Asia was established in Manila after the first regional conference of street children in Asia. And this forum facilitated networking and collaboration among agencies working for street children in the Asian region. So as you can see here, this is the website where you can also fill out for the volunteer member and this and what they do in the Child Hope Philippines. They say as a non-government organization for children in the Philippines, they believe that street children are created in the image of the supreme being with inherent worth and dignity. Therefore, they have the right to live and be protected from any form of abuse. Yes, it, it is right, because as you all know, since there are many children on the street, and these children are being abused by other people, because they hate the street children. These children are begging for food, for money, just to live every day, and other people who don't want to help. Instead of just ignoring them, they will hurt these children. So that's the problem here in our country because of the rise of the street children. And not only the street children, even the elder people was being thrown from their house and their children doesn't want to take care of them anymore. And their core values with the Child of Philippines is everyone who works in this organization firmly believes and upholds the values of compassion and commitment, integrity, and teamwork in working for the welfare of street children. So the main goal is everyone to extend their help as much as they can to support this organization, to extend their knowledge by teaching these children, educating these children, and even helping these with their needs, even though they live in the streets. And how are you going to be involved with this Child Hope Philippines if you want to be a volunteer? You can also simply click the volunteer and you will be redirected with this page wherein you need to fill out the form and later on you can also submit and they will reply to you through the email or the number you have provided now we can move on with the programs and projects that they have as you can see here they have the street education and protection or the STEP program and this program is actively response to the call on how to help the street children and youth through its street education and protection program and this is guided by the caring healing teaching framework the step program has four major components so they put the best interest of the child at the center of the program and their holistic development as their main goal so we have the educators volunteers who will teach these strict children to be knowledgeable in life as well since they don't go to school or there is no other way for them to go to school or get any education so with the childhood philippines they thought of this way to help these children be educated. They also have the psychosocial interventions, the health and medical services, skills development for those children who want to learn something new like uh, playing instruments or maybe in the sports or other um, category 
of the department. So here it is. So how are you going to be part of this as well? As a volunteer, you can also simply share this thing on your social media where you are going to encourage other, other people to be aware about the children rights. So here you will just simply share it, put some hashtag, and that will redirect to the childhood web page. And here they are clinical yeah, during the pandemic helping these children in the street uh, through uh, co continuous promoting health education amid the pandemic. So here in the Philippines, we also have a Republic Act number 7610 provided June 17, 1992 and this act called an act providing for stronger deter deterrence and special protections against child abuse, exploitation and discrimination and for other purposes. So here in the Philippines, since these children are living in the streets, so as we have said earlier, they also have the human rights protections. These protections called Special Protections of Children Against Abuse, Exploitation and Discrimination Act. Because most of the people in the street trying to abuse these children and even exploit them for their own benefits. For example, these children are begging for money and there is a huge people behind it who's asking them to ask for money and this money will go to these people who's handling them and being taken care of them. Which is, we can also think of some criminal people and they will explo exploit these children for their own benefits to earn money out of these street children. So this law is being created to protect them. But the problem is how are we going or how are they going to use this law to protect these children if the government itself do not implement this in a proper manner. So this is the help of the childhood Philippines by uh, simply protecting them and giving them all the help that they can extend through the, their advocacy or the non-government organization that they have created which was founded in 1986. So thankfully for this Child Hope Philippines, because of their programs and other things that will help these children on the street, these children may have their future, maybe not now, but in the near future as well, they can use this, uh, this type of education that being given by these children of Philippines. So there are different departments in the Child Hope Philippines. So as a volunteer, you can also help by taking pictures of these three children for your documentaries or you can also just uh, do some interviews for this documentary as well and in their offices you can be someone who can file the documents or other documentations needed through the computers or maybe the hard copy filing and you can also be an educator if you want to teach them maybe for sports uh, subjects and other things that will help these street children to be more educated even though they live in the street. And how are we going to do that as a volunteer? For me as individual, as a responsible individual, I know I cannot help all these people, I cannot help all these children around me. But through this child of Philippines, I know I can make something or I can make an impact with their lives by helping them or extending some of my time voluntarily to do such um, educating them for example um, do some interviews for the documentaries and many more. As you can see, these children, we can take them away from some wrongdoings. For example, some children, because of the poverty of, or because they don't have food, they will take some rugby. They will do some criminal acts like shoplifting, um, pickpocketing, or they will just get some food from the stores of other people without them knowing. And not only that, there are many things that can be happened using the drugs or the alcohol or these children not just to be beaten by other people but also to end their life with some wrongdoings or criminal acts. So before that thing happened, so we are here, we can help them through voluntary works by educating them, providing food, donating food or donating money so that the organization will continue to help these street children and maybe in the near future to have a stable and sustainable system for these street children and at the time being they will not be longer in the street because all we want is to educate these children because they deserve a shelter, a home and a new family so thank you for the Childhood Philippines because they have this such advocacy that we can continue so if you also have time you can simply fill out the form in the volunteer page of the Childhood Philippines and we can all share and encourage other people not just by helping or extending our help but also be connected with these people because they also have the human rights 
like us.